some questions too, right? Hi everybody, welcome to ABC Gluten Free. Thank you for joining us today. Um, as you can see, we have a very special guest in the middle, and then we have the usual little grommet to the side over here, but this is our friend Serafina. Serafina, thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad you're coming to bake with us. You know what we're making today? Pies. Pies, we're making pies. Now your mom gave me like a whole list of stuff that you like, and I know you like a bunch of different things. Today we're going to make pies and one other thing which I'm not going to tell you, okay? It's going to be a secret. So we have Serafina today, and her mom is in the audience. Thank you so much for bringing her down. We appreciate you taking out your time. And then we have our Sophia over here, and Jeremiah is somewhere in the mix that he'll be coming in a little bit. So thank you so much for joining us. We have a great show planned for you this week, as opposed to, was it last week we had like an eh show planned? That was what it was, I think. Two weeks ago was the eh show. And we have gluten-free grandma in the audience waiting to eat. Well, she's going to have to wait a long time today, because there ain't no food here today. We only have some baked pies. You going to be all right with a baked pie? Sure. All right. So we're going to get started, and thank you to Heidi for bringing us the cookie cutter. She saved the day for us. Yay, Heidi. And um, if she didn't bring that, we probably would have had to switch out our options a little bit. But today, we're making Mickey Mouse pies. Does that sound fun? Mm -hmm. So we're going to make Mickey Mouse shaped hand pies, which are going to be stuffed with what, Serafina? Apples. Apples. And we have some other options for you, which we're going to go over later. But we're going to get started, so we hope you guys B Y O N, right, Sophia? Bring your own napkin. Bring your own napkin. We know we brought one for Serafina and for her mom. We have our napkins ready because if you're going to be drooling over these pie recipes, we want you to definitely have your napkin. So we're going to get started on making pie crust dough. Have you ever made pie crust dough before? With by yourself or with your mom or somebody? No. Pie crust? No? No. Have you ever made a pie like with the crust already made? Apple so, pie on, on Thanksgiving. Oh, you make it with mommy? A big apple pie or a little one? Big. Ooh, I'm coming to your house. Like this big. Wow. I'm coming over to you for a piece of pie. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. We're going to get started on the dough, and the dough is really super simple. This bowl is, I used it before to make pie dough, so don't, that's why it has flour in it. Does that look weird? No. No, it just it looks It looks like, exactly like the bowl. The bowls we use after after we make the pie crust. Really? After the pie crust. Oh, yeah. Is this like a bowl you have, Mom? Yeah. And what do you do with your bowl? You put the stuff inside? Yeah. Like what? Uh, the flour and the yeah, mix. Okay, good. So, so you're ready to go. So today what we're going to do is... I made a couple of doughs earlier, but what we're going to do today is we're going to be using the really great food company flour. The reason why I like this flour is because it has some cornstarch in it, and that cornstarch can stiffen up that dough a little bit. Jeremiah, you want to make sure the oven's on 425, please? Jeremiah's actually going to be making us a special drink today. We're going to have nice dairy-free hot chocolate yeah. with some what on top? Do you like anything on top of your hot chocolate? Maybe like these little white things that get puffy. What do you think those are called? Marshmallows? Marshmallows. Good job. Yep. So we're going to have that with some marshmallows. And that's going to be our little busting into fall kind of our little treat. So what I'm going to do here, Sophie, get the baking powder and the salt, please. And Jeremiah, can you give me the earth balance butter? We're going to do a cup and a half of flour. Do you like to measure stuff out? Yes. Do you like to get dirty? Yes. You like to get flour all over you like this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's a really fun day when you get flour all over you like that. Yeah. That means you had a really good time. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we have our flour in here. So if you want to get the pastry blender just so in case Serafina doesn't want to use her hands. We have a little teeny tiny little baby spoon here. We're going to do one baby spoon of salt. Can you put that in there? Measure out one baby spoon of salt. So if you can get a knife for the butter, please. And you know what? I didn't get out any utensils. Good girl. So what we're going to do is, you want to, do you want to use your hands or do you want to use a utensil? Hands. Go ahead. You're going to just stir that up a little bit. Yep, there you go. Now we're going to do one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to throw the... No, that's not really. And you're going to mix that up in there. Now, for baking... Uh, using baking powder gives the crust a little bit more fluff. If you want it to be really like hard cracking crust, you will leave out the baking powder 
and you can put like a little a little cap full of vinegar in it. Um, but that's totally up to you. Just put those away. All right, we got the salt, we got the baking powder, we have our flour in, we've got our flour on also. And now we're going to be using um, Earth Balance butter. There you go, just wipe it right on there. We're going to use about four, ta uh, four tablespoons of Earth Balance butter. And Sophia, you're going to blend that. You're going to show Serafina how to do it, and then she can do it with the blender, okay? Now, normally, if you have a food processor, have you ever tried Earth Balance before, this butter? Yes. Mommy I, gave it to you? I, I had it for breakfast on my toast. Oh, good. Okay, so you've had this butter before. Yes. You're not really going to taste it in the pie crust, but that's enough. But you definitely need it in there. So if you're dairy-free, you want to make sure you substitute your butter for either Spectrum or Earth Balance. We have the soy-free and the gluten-free one. And Sophia's going to show you how we do the little, this is called a, a pastry blender. So she's going to blend the flour into the, the butter, into the flour. We're just going to call this butter. Everybody knows that it's not butter. It's a buttery spread. We don't want anybody to come to sue us because we call Earth Balance butter when it's not. Um, normally we would use Kerrygold, and we use that in a lot of our baking because Sophie and I can have that dairy, that form of dairy because it is from grass-fed cows. So now if you have a dairy allergy, sometimes it's because of what the cow is eating. If the cow is fed a grain diet or a wheat diet or oats or barley or something like that, then that's going to transpire into the butter and you will have a reaction to that butter because it actually has been cross-contaminated with wheat. So you want to just be careful with that. This is not sharp, but you do want to be careful. You're doing a good job. Sophia, hold the bowl for her, honey. So, um, telling that rest of the story, so if you're getting a grass-fed butter, um, normally that would mean that the cow is grass-fed and carry gold, we know that they're fed grass 365 days of the year. They actually harvest grass and make grass patties for the calves during the winter months so that they can still eat the grass even though it's in patty form. So that's why we support um, carry gold. And although it's a European butter, it's a bit more expensive, it's worth it because it's your health, so why wouldn't you want to just do that? Have you ever had Kerrygold butter? Uh, I don't, don't think so. Okay, we'll let mommy take home some so you can try it, okay, if she lets you, all right? So while they're making the pie crust, I'm just going to go over the liquid portion of it. So to bring this all together, if you had a food processor, you could do that. When you have little groms and little friends coming over to help, you always want to get your hands in there, and that's the funnest part about it. Um, the water part, you can do ice water, you can do seltzer, you can do a milk or a milk substitute. You can also use um, like a vodka or a potato vodka or uh, what was the other one? Vermouth. You can use any type of, has to just be ice cold because it's going to firm up that butter. So we actually have one of our seltzers in the refrigerator. If Jeremiah could get that for us, we're going to measure that out. So we have about a cup and a half of flour, right gluten free grandma? We did a cup and a half of flour. Heidi, do you, you remember when we did, did a cup, a cup and a half of flour? Mm -hmm. We did a cup and a half of flour? Yeah, yeah, we, we did. did. You know, Seraphina? Mm -hmm. Thanks. You guys can let me know. We did a cup and a half of flour. I'm pretty positive. Don't. It's for the pie crust. Now we can't use it because you drank it. Okay, just leave it there. You're going to drink the rest of it. Now we have to go with the ice water. So, I'm going to get that ready. There's no more honey, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah. Okay. Here, would you get me some ice water in here? Alright, I'm gonna... We're gonna use ice water. Normally, I would like to use seltzer. I like the seltzer. What, honey? The ice water. Okay, yeah, thank you. I like to use the seltzer. It just adds a little bit more of like a baking soda. One of your bubbles might be back there. No, we're not using that. Oh, we got... We're not using that. Oh, you got... Is this cold? It's not cold. It's cold. Can you pour... Here, listen to me. Listen. Put ice in there and pour this in, please. All right, so we have uh, one more seltzer. We're going to put ice in there. We're going to chill it a little bit, and we'll use that for our pie crust. You're doing a good job. Let Miss Dana see real quick. So, Serafina was breaking up that butter, so it looks like... What does this look like to you? You said you did something all summer. Where did you go in the summer? It looks like sand. It looks like sand, right? So we want to actually break that up so that looks almost like sand and it almost just sticks together when you compress it in your hand, right? So it almost sticks, stays together, right? So now we're going to need that liquid to get it to stick together. And when you're making pie crust, 
You like that? You can almost make a sandcastle, but not yet, right? You like to use your hands? Yeah, it's fun, right? Do you have a, a pastry blender at home or no? You have your hands, right? Yes. That's the good thing about your hands. You always have them with you. You don't need any tools, <laughs> right? You can bake anywhere you go as long as you have your hands with you, right? And maybe some flour and stuff. All right, Jeremiah, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take this. All right, so now we've got our iced seltzer. Sophia, would you get us a fork or a spoon, please, that we're going to start with that? We have, um, <laughs> she is right. She's having, I think she is a very, she's going to be a good baker. Yeah. Because she likes to bake and cook, mm -hmm. and she pays she attention loves, really well. Loves it, yeah. So when I first met Serafina, we were where? At soccer camp. At soccer camp. What were you doing at soccer camp? Playing soccer. Yes. <laughs> what else do you do at soccer camp? And who was your coach? Do you remember? Coach Ben was one of them. Coach Ben was one of them. And what about this one over here? Was she a helper? Was she one of your helpers? No. What about the guy with the really big ponytail on the mm -hmm. back? Who was that? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. There was two of them. One was Ben. The other one was his brother, right? Mm -hmm. Colin. You want to say hi to Ben and Colin? Because they might be watching. Say hi to your soccer coaches. Hi. And then, so when you came, when I when you first came, I didn't know you were gluten free, right? Yeah. And we were talking, and what happened? Then mommy told me you brought some special snacks, right? Let me get this out. And why did you bring special snacks? Because you couldn't have what they had there. Right? And what were they having there that you couldn't have? Name some of the stuff. Or can you remember? Uh. I remember one thing. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. I remember the other was goldfish, which I used to love. Goldfish. Yeah. Did you ever have goldfish? Yes. They used to be yummy, right? I haven't yes. had them in a long time, so I don't know if they're still yummy, but I might be able to taste them again. Okay. In my mind, not in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> so we met at soccer camp, right? And mommy and I were talking, and then, then you brought me a whole bunch of snacks. Yep. That was the first time anybody brought me snacks. I always had been bringing the snacks with me. That looks good. That looks perfect. Sophia, get some plastic wrap for us, please. Here. Plastic wrap, we need a piece. So when she brought me snacks, um, we started talking, right? And then we got a little bit of info, more information about you. And then I said, why don't you come to the show? And your mom said, what? Your mom said, yes? Yes. And then you told me all about your grandpa. What did you make with your grandpa? Spaghetti and meatballs and eggplant parmesan. Yeah. Oh, yummy. And I heard that you might be doing that soon, right? Yes. All right, let me see and have the rest of this. I'm just going to do this real quick. So we've got our crust all mixed up. Serafina did a wonderful job. You did great. You know what we have in here? Like, this is going to be probably the best dough we ever had. Yep. This is going to be the best pie crust dough ever. I'm going to add a little bit of flour in here because then we drew a little bit too much of the water that I took out. And when you're using flour that has cornstarch in it, it absorbs the water a lot. Uh, actually, a lot of gluten-free flowers do, so you want to be careful when you play that wet-dry game. Just make sure when you actually get it, it's at the consistency that you want. So if it's a if it's a um, a biscuit dough, it could be a little wetter. If it's a pie crust, you probably want a little bit more firm. So when you mix that, you're going to take that off and you're going to put it right into the plastic wrap that Sophia has for us. Is that gluten-free, Dad? Oh, oh gluten-free, Dad's home! Yay! All right, and we're going to take the rest of this flour, and we're just going to put on. Sophie, you're going to make that a nice round disc, please. This is going to go into the refrigerator for a little bit. Hi, Cool Free Dad. Hello. This is our special guest, Serafina. Hi. Do you remember her from soccer camp? Little Egg Harbor. Oh, she was in Ben's group, yes, not in your group. All right, so we're making a nice disc out of our... Um, out of our pie crust, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take out the one that we have in the refrigerator ready to go, and we're going to get started on making our little mini mouse, Mickey Mouse pies. It was like mini mouse pies, kind of like for a second, right? Mini mouse pies, but it was Mickey Mouse pies. Yes. And you never had a Mickey Mouse pie before, did you? No. Today's going to be a good day then. I got a feeling. Yep. All right, so I'm going to just, one? what honey? Which one? Just, um... Take out the whole thing and hand it to me. So we have some um, pie crusts ready in the refrigerator. You could just leave that because we're going to roll dough out and we're going to make a mess again. Yes. All right. 
We are going to make a mess. Did your mom ready? Does she know that? Gluten for yes. Grandma knows that. She's used to a big mess every week. All right, so you can put the spectrum away, honey. So we have our different flowers here. The, we have a nut flower that has the Kerry Gold in it. We have the Really Great Food Company all-purpose flower. And then we have our um, Really Great Food Company and Glutino one that is probably the firmest one that we've gotten so far. So we're going to go with that one, other than the nut flower. I this one is firm. I yes. Stick it together all in one, two, one piece. That was good. <laughs> what do you think we're going to do with that? Do we need it? you think we need it? Or should we throw it away or keep it? We'll keep it. We'll keep it right here. We'll make sure we save that. All right, put that away. So maybe, maybe I can make a little mini apple pot with it. Oh, maybe that. a little teeny tiny mini one, right? Yeah. So we've got our pie crust ready to go. What we're going to do, though, it's a little bit soft. Sophia, put that away, please. Thank you. We're going to roll it out into small pieces so that we can actually make our Mickey pies. So we're going to need some more plastic wrap, Sophia, please. Now, Mickey Mouse is probably one of my favorite characters from Disney. When I went to Disney World, I was so excited, more excited to see Disney than my kids walking into the park. I was so excited. So, we like to do, at least once a year, or once every couple of years, a little Mickey Mouse episode. So, this is going to be our special one, because Serafina's here, we're doing Mickey Mouse. So, Sophia's going to get the rolling pin. Oh, wait, I have one here, honey. We're going to roll this out very gently, and what you're going to do is roll and then turn. So we're going to roll it, and then we're going to turn this like that. So when you're baking gluten-free pies or um, cookies or anything like that, plastic wrap can be your best friend. You don't have to worry about trying to pull it off of whatever it is that you have, whether it's uh, formica or, or granite or coarse or whatever, because it's probably going to stick. Um, when you're baking bread, you want to oil the plastic wrap first. When you're baking with just cookies or pie crust, you can just do it straight up and add a little bit of flour as needed. You don't want to do too much flour because then it will make your pie crust very brittle and cracking. Jeremiah, you can put this uh, just away for now, but I'll need it out in a few minutes. So she's just rolling it between two pieces of plastic. Sophie, can you hold the other side, please, for Serafina? Rolling it right between two pieces of plastic. She's doing a great job. Look, she's even like a little Italian in her. She's going to the wrist. Going all the way to the wrist. I love it. And we have our Mickey Mouse cutter that we're actually going to use. And then I'm going to let Sophia start cutting apples because Serafina said she wants apples in her Mickey pie. All right? All right, so let's turn it. Now we're going to turn it this way and I'll hold it, Sophia. And you go start cutting apples. Bring it over here. Now we want to make sure we have a little bit of thickness to it, but a nice thin pie crust is always really good, especially when you have that little crisp on the edge and little sweetness inside. Now for the pie crust that we made earlier with Serafina, we did not put any sugar in it. And the only reason I do that is because I don't like sugar, but it does make a nice crisp golden brown crust. You like sugar? So when you make your apples, when you make your crust, you can put a few tablespoons of sugar in it. And actually, if you brought me that, I would have put it in, but we didn't. So we can put a little bit of sugar on the inside because the inside will be very sweet. What do you usually put in your apple pie, inside your pie? Uh, All right, let Miss Dana have a little bit. I'm going to try to straighten, straighten this out a little bit. There we go. You put apples and what do you like in there? Maybe cinnamon? Yes. A little bit of sugar, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, a little bit of flour. Now, it's up to you. A lot of people want to cook the apples first to get the moisture out. You can do that, or you can just toss the apples with a little bit of flour, and the flour will kind of make a nice little juicy, juicy gooey like on the inside of that pie, and that's totally up to you. You like your apples cooked first or raw? Uh, you like them like that, or you like to cook them first? I like them like that. Like that? I like them like you like them cooked too? Okay. Well, today we're going to leave them raw, and Sophia's going to toss them with a little bit of flour, or you can do it. And Miss Dane is going to try to cut the crust. The crust was very difficult, and I think it's because of the weather, but what are you laughing at, huh? What are you laughing at over there? Jeremiah's laughing at us. So what I like to do is cut one, and then I'm going to cut the second one, which would be the top. And then we can kind of flip it over to it. So we want to be very careful, right, with our with our crust. 
I'm going to just take off the edges. They're very mushy. See, it's very, very mushy today. Oh, let me get some flour. I have a little cup of flour next to me and we'll kind of pull it off. Yep, you can pull it off. I don't want to mess up the Mickey, sir. We don't want to mess up the Mickey, do we? No, we do not, Serafina. So, is your grandpa your favorite person to cook with? Yes. How about mommy? Do you like to cook with mommy too? Yes. Yeah. Do you cook at home a lot? Yeah. Yeah? On Sundays, do you have pasta with eight balls? Uh, or just sometimes? Yeah. Like whenever you feel like it. Sometimes. Yeah. So now tell, I want you to tell um, Miss Dana, when you, when you always had like a belly ache, what, what did it feel like? Were you like upset or did you want to just cry? Like upset. Yeah. And when you, when you didn't feel good, was mommy always helped you, right? Yes. Right. And then you found a, did she find a nice doctor? You found a nice doctor? Not yet. Not, not yet, okay. So when you when you have a bellyache all the time, right, you don't want to eat anything, right? So we all understand that, and that really is very dangerous because then we can be malnourished, right? Now, a lot of you read Serafina's story on our Facebook page, and hopefully you'll go back to it and read it again now that you see her in person. But do you want to say anything to everybody that's out there that maybe felt like you felt, that maybe had a bellyache, or didn't know why food always hurt their tummies? Do you want to tell them anything? Like maybe they'll feel better soon? They should be better soon, right? Hopefully if they watch their diet, they'll feel real better. All right, so basically we're just peeling away the outside of this crust oh is really gosh. super soft, super soft, right? Let's Miss Dana get it off. So normally we don't have this soft of a, of a pie crust, but I don't know if it's so humid that this this is killing us right now, right? Well, it's not really killing us. I'm just saying that. So Jeremiah's going to work on our hot cocoa. And basically what we have is a really special pumpkin spice hot cocoa that we're going to be drinking. Jeremiah, did you get that from up here? No? Okay. Whoa. You know what? You could leave it right there. Yep. Oh, messy hands. Look at that. Show mommy how messy your hands are. <laughs> oh, mommy. All right. Let me just pull this away. Sophia's cutting up the apples. Sophia, we're going to toss those. You can stop now. Get a bowl. Stop eating and toss them with a little bit of flour, please. So we're peeling away these little parts on the side that we don't want, and it's very, very melty, very melty. All right, Serafina, that's good, honey. So I'm just going to kind of roll this up out of the way here. Hopefully out of the way. And what we're going to do is Sophia's going to take some of those apples. Honey, we just need a little bit to put in here. We're going to take some of those apples. Ooh, you okay? Yep. Yeah. We're going to toss them with a little bit of flour and some cinnamon. This flour, right? Over here, I have the flour. You get the cinnamon. And a pinch of salt. And you don't have to do that, but sometimes it just brings out the flavor. You want to put that right into the apples? And then you can dump that right into the apples, too. Yep. And then we need, we're going to need a spoon. You know what? I just want to get right in this drawer right here where you are. Don't move. I'll hold you. <laughs> and we're going to get a spoon now. And then let Serafina stir that. So if you don't cook your apples, you want to just chop them really small, really fine, and put those apples into the center of our Mickey. Now, if you can't see our Mickey, I'm going to try to hold it up. we got a messy Mickey, right? That's the fun of it. So we have two Mickeys. One is the top, one is the bottom. And now, Serafina, we're going to stir that up real good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little bit of apples in the one side of the Mickey. And hopefully we're going to flip it over and get to the other side of the Mickey. You good? You're eating apples? You're supposed to be working. You're supposed to be working. All right, so let me stand and see. We've got tossed apples with just a little bit of flour. Now we're going to put that right in the middle of our Mickey. I think that's a little flour. I don't think so. We'll see. If it breaks, we don't care. Right? We want to put a lot of apples in there. It's supposed to be apple pie, right? Yep. So what I'm going to do now, oh, I should have put it in that one because I lowered, I made one lower than the other so that I could flip it over. Did you ever do this before? 
flip over your pie crust. Mm -hmm. Sometimes with gluten-free stuff you have to improvise because yeah. sometimes it's a little mushy. All right, so here we go. I'm going to actually, Sophie, can you get me the scissors over there? I'm going to actually cut my plastic wrap down where it is, and then we're going to flip over our Mickey. What do you think? Sophie, can you hold that side for me, please? Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. Yeah. So you said you like cookies, you like brownies, you like spaghetti and meatballs. What else? Eggplant. Eggplant, yes. Yes. Okay. So now that I flipped it over, I've got two Mickeys on top of each other on top of apples. I'm just going to use my plastic wrap to seal the edges, hopefully, and close up his ears. We have to close his ears up, right? We don't want his ears to come off. No, no right? We or, don't want... or, all, or all the apples to fall We don't want that either. You're right. And I'm going to take the plastic wrap and just kind of press it. The heat of our fingers and the heat inside of this room is going to just cause this to kind of crumble. So we want to just put some flour on top. Sophie, I'll get it, honey. Your hands. Thank you. And I'm just going to take a little bit more flour and we're just going to press the edges together. And what Sophia is going to do with this is she's going to put it right into the freezer. The best thing to do when you have gluten-free pie crust, pie crust and you've made something out of it is put it in the refrigerator or the freezer for at least 20 minutes. That's going to give, you, give it a chance to solidify and it will give it a chance to everything just to stay together safely. So I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit. And then, Sophia, you can put that right into the freezer on the tray there. The second thing we're going to be making for you is a little surprise. And it's a little fun surprise, so we're going to wait just a few more minutes before I tell you what we're making. All right, Sophia, get the tray out of the freezer, please. We're going to put this in the freezer, right? We're going to let it get nice and hard, and then it'll be ready to bake, okay? And when you're baking your pie crust, it's totally up to you if you want to move it over. If you want to um, do a glaze on the top, see that please? Thank you. If you want to do a glaze on the top, you could do um, an egg wash if you can have egg or a milk wash, or you can just do a little bit of water and sprinkle some sugar, or you can do bake it and then drizzle the sugar later. Yeah, you like that? We'll do that later, okay? Sophia's going to put the apples away for now. Ooh, yeah. You like donuts? Me too, me too. Sophia, put this in the refrigerator. Wow, that is so soft. And then the next thing we're going to... I know, right? So, so juicy. This is so easy. What we're going to do next is we're going to make some Mickey Mouse crispy treats. Did you ever have those? Don't bring that out. No, we're going to make them. We're making them now. <laughs> you want so, the butter? No, we're going to make them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our marshmallows and melt them. We're going to take our crispy cereal. Did you ever have this before? Uh, yeah. I want to try it. Open it. So if you get the marshmallows in a big bowl. The big one, right? Or the little one? The small marshmallows and the big bowl. You're all right. We're going to have to roll more pie crusts out later, but we're not going to tell anybody that because... They don't need to know. Ready? You want to try this? Ready? You like those? So Via, open this up, put half of the bag in there, and we're going to use Earth Balance again so that Serafina, Serafina can have it. Yup. Give this to Mommy. We're going to melt the butter. Butter. You know this isn't butter, right? Yes. Okay. See, how old are you? Seven. I don't have to tell a seven-year-old. She gonna, knows that this isn't butter. I'm going to turn eight on September 30th. Ooh, your birthday's coming up. Happy birthday. Okay, that's good, baby girl. Now we're going to put this in the microwave for about a minute, and then Sophie's going to bring it out to me with a, with that nice rubber spatula. Thank you. Good girl. I'm actually going to butter up our spatula. A minute, Because. Right? Yes, thank you. Why do we butter up the spatula, you think, Seraphina? So the marshmallows will stick to it. You're so smart. You are so smart. I know. You are so smart. I, I know why, though. Because your mom's a good teacher. Yes. 
you want to you want to say thanks to your mom in the camera. You can tell everybody because your mom's such an awesome teacher. Because where do you get where do you get schooled? Where do you go to school? I'm you tell them that. I'm homeschooled. That's right. That's why this brain is working so good. Do you know Heidi's homeschooled too? And Sophia? And this one behind me? Well, technically not anymore. Stop eating. He's not homeschooled anymore, but he is still a homeschooled kid. What do you, are you and you get to do a lot of different things. Like, hey, stop eating. Uh, uh, Jeremiah eating you behind me? You guys see him eating behind me? for some crispies in there? Yes. All right, you ready? I'm going to pour them in. Here we go. Woo! Now you're going to mix all that up. Before I mix it, it was a whole mountain. No. Woo! It looks like a mountain. Yeah? Imagine if I put marshmallows on it. It would look exactly like a snow cat mountain. It really would. But I think maybe it will after you stir it up a little bit. Sophie, you're going to get us one of these pans right here? Covered with plastic wrap. Now, when we make the crispy treats... Can I have that pan right there? No, I'll get the other one. When we make the crispy treats, we have to put we have to put plastic on the pan. Why do you think that is, Sarafina? So does it stick? That's right. Also? Also, and you're a genius. Yes, you are. And because it's not going to stick, that means we get to eat more of the crispy treats because they don't get stuck to the pan. Yes. Isn't that better? We yes. want to eat all the crispy treats. We don't want any of them to get left behind. No crispy treats left behind. Parchment paper or plastic wrap? Uh, want to use parchment paper? I asked you for the little silver one, and it's you gave me that. It's in the fridge. It's used on What? No, it's not. It. Yes, it's All right, you want me to stir that a little bit, or are you doing good? Your muscles are, are getting tired? No, Show everybody your muscles. Let's see. Whoa, look at this. I want this one, too. Whoa, two muscles. Well, on each side. I love it. Sophia, it's okay. Just cover it with plastic wrap, honey. Sophie, yes. It's okay. Just, wrap wrap plastic wrap. Wrap. Just use plastic wrap. We'll just have it out already. All right? We use the plastic wrap since Sophia has it. Yes. Forget the parchment. We'll do that next time. Yes. Maybe next time you come and make meatballs yes. and spaghetti. Yes. Did you ever have spaghetti pie? No. Oh, spaghetti pie is yummy. Or maybe we'll just make homemade meatballs and that's that. Yes. Do you think we need more chocolate stuff in there or are we good? Uh, I think more, a little more. A little more chocolate stuff. Jeremiah, can I have those chocolate crispies, please? Jeremiah, you're not eating. So now, the other day we went to the boardwalk. I don't know if you guys have been to the boardwalk lately, but they have fried rice crispy treats. Can you imagine this? This is crazy, right? So, we're not going to try that today, but we should definitely try that. Is that good? Yes. All right, you can mix those all up. And then Jeremiah, this is good, honey. You can have this back. Thank you. All right, so we've got our pies that we're going to have to get into the oven. Ooh, we have to get those in now, Jeremiah. Sophia, get the pie crust out for me. Uh, get the pies out for me. I don't know if they're What we're going to do is we're going to bake the pies that we have now. Uh, pre made two, and Seraphine made her one. And Seraphina's one, we'll make sure we are. Give this to me. Thank you. Sophia, hold the bowl for her. All right, these are going to go back in the in the freezer. So Serafina's pie is beautiful. Your Mickey pie is beautiful. 
These two Sophia put back in the freezer, or Jeremiah. I think there was a little thicker than the other ones. I, I think that's a good thing, though, because look, all of the other ones, the apples are busting out. Yeah. Right? So it's good that it's a little bit thicker. Here, Jeremiah, put this in the freezer. Stop eating. We need this stuff. I always have to watch him. He's always eating. Put it in the freezer. So these pies are going to go into the oven at 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes. But first, I'm going to see, are we going to do... Are we going to do a little milk wash on top, or are we going to do nothing? Is it too loose on her? No, the milk. Oh, okay. Should we do a milk wash on the top with a little bit of sugar, or should we just put them in like this? Milk wash. All right, Sophia, can you get the milk? I'll hold the bowl. I think you're doing good. Now you're going to dump that all onto here. You're going to dump it all onto here. Yeah, that is going to help you. All right, go ahead. Oh, we got to do it quick before the marshmallows start to harden, although it's so hot, I don't think they will. Are you guys hot? Anybody hot? No? Okay, that's good. Hold on, let's dump it all in there. Woo! That's a very sticky situation. Here, let me get the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. We'll, we'll fix it, don't worry. <laughs> you always got to get the goodies off right now. The good thing about the plastic wrap, there you go, good girl, is that we can take this plastic wrap and we can actually just kind of crush those crush those crispy treats down into a nice block. You want to go wash your hands? You can. We can make these crispy treats a nice square without getting too super messy. And we can also use our spatula. Ooh, look at this. We can use our spatula to kind of press it down into our square. And then this is going to go in the refrigerator for about, I like to put it in the freezer, but put it in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes to let it get nice and hard. So you can put it, if you have room in the freezer, put it in the freezer. You like that? Did you like that, Serafina? Was that good? Okay, we want to press it down. We want to make sure we have nice pressed down crispies. Go ahead, put that in the freezer. I'm going to wash my hands. Jeremiah, you're going to milk wash this. No, don't go anywhere. Milk wash that. Milk wash the Mickey. Milk wash the Mickey. So we're going to milk wash these Mickeys with a little bit of bro uh, brush, a little bit of milk on top. Sophia, grab the brush, and I'll get the sugar. Serafina said she wants to sprinkle the sugar on top, right? Is that what you said? Yes. All right, so what we're going to do is, your mind's going to give us a little bit of milk. You're going to stick your fingers in that and just go like this. And keep this hand dry so you can sprinkle sugar. The brush. Okay, we can, you want to use your hand or the brush? The brush. All right, go with the brush. I was going to let you do the brush and her too. Okay. You're going to brush that on, and then you're going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. I think yours is looking the best. Yeah. Her Mickey Mouse pie looks the best. I'm going to show it to you guys as soon as she's done. And then with the rest of the pie dough, there's a couple of different things we can do. We can take that pie crust and do the same thing and bake it in the oven, or we can make a whole bunch of pies and put them in the freezer for when we actually want a pie. Then we can put them in the toaster oven or the oven and cook them. You can also put them in the deep fryer for about two to three minutes, maybe five, and get them nice and crispy, and they'll be a, like a fried pie, almost like, um, do you ever have like an apple pie at McDonald's? Did you ever have that or no? Yeah. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Have, <laughs> yeah. So it's like that. So we like to do a lot of fried food. All right, sprinkle the sugar on top. Good girl. Just to take your hand and do that. Yeah. You can put as much as you want, though. I don't say that to anybody in this house, just her. Make sure you get those ears right. We want Mickey's ears to taste good. We don't want Mickey's ears to not taste good. All right, these are going to go in the oven. The oven's on 425. We're going to do about 10 to 12 minutes. If we don't get it out in time to show you, we will post the pictures and we'll make sure we get Serafina taking her first bite of her Mickey pie. That looks so good. Making sure she gets all the spots with the sugar. Especially because we didn't put any sugar in the dough, so I want to make sure it tastes good, right? All right, let me just show you guys. This is the pie that Serafina made. Look how beautiful it is. 
You want to smile and show everybody you made that beautiful pie? And then these are our two scary ones that we need earlier. I don't know if that is even Mickey Mouse right there. But thankfully, um, Heidi came to the rescue. All right, Sophia, put those in the oven. Put the timer on for 10. We'll check it in 10 minutes. And then if it has to go a little bit longer, we'll let it go for 12. So you know what we're going to do next? We're going to cut Mickey Krispies. Sophia's going to get out that crispy stuff for us. Sophia, going to get out that chocolate crispy stuff for us? Five minutes, right? Wait, which one? Yes, the one that's already done. We're going to actually melt some chocolate and drizzle chocolate on top of those. Sophia, you can melt chocolate for Mommy. Thank you. I'll take it. You just go. You, I'll take it. You go. Go melt chocolate. See, when you come on the show, you got to work. you got to work for your food. In that bowl right there. See those? Do they look good? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So what we have here is what? Lots of crispies, right? We've had this in the refrigerator overnight. I'm going to take this away. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this or this. We don't need any of this stuff. Here, honey. Oh, you're busy over there. Excuse me. Here, we're going for Grandma. You're going to keep this for now. Take it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut. This is delicious. Did I get stuff all over my face just now? Ooh. Did I get dirty on my face? I feel like I just put flour all over my face. So this is a little bit hard to do, but I want you to do it all by yourself. You're going to put the Mickey cutter here, and you're going to push down really hard. Use your muscles, use your muscles, use your muscles. Can you do it? Can no. you help? I Sophia can't do it all Sophia, go ahead and help her. Where's my dish? Oh, that is hard. It is, right? Yeah. Jeremiah, can you get the love plate in there? The long, skinny red love plate. Over there. Just don't get anything. Did you get it? We might have to get Jeremiah to help us with this. The, uh, an idea that you can do if you're having a hard time getting your cutter to go in through something is take a plate. A shot. A shot. Is take a plate and put it on top and push down on the plate. As long as, you know, you don't mind if you might break the plate. No, just kidding. So you push down on the plate, and then, Jeremiah! Go away. And then you take your Mickey cutter up. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Whoa! We put that back because we're going to paste them all together. And then we just kind of take out the rest that was lagging behind. We've got one Mickey Mouse done. What do you think about this tough work, right? Yeah. So we've got a little Mickey. We're going to do a couple more little Mickeys. Do you want to do some more? you want to try? you want to try to do another one? Put the plate on top. Good girl. Yep. Yeah. You got it. Good job. This is so hard. Good job. You're doing good. All right, Christina is going to just push down real hard. When you have those crispies in the refrigerator and the marshmallow gets real hard, that's what happens. That's a good thing, though. Oh, we're going to flame those marshmallows, Sophia. Can I do it? Yes, just be careful. You're not going to Serafina. And you're not going to touch the gold on the edges. Here. The gold? So, <laughs> yeah. what we're actually going to do is we have a nice pumpkin spice hot chocolate. Jeremiah, can you tell them how you made this, please? I don't want any marshmallows in there, but we're going to use some graham crackers on, on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little graham crackers. No. Put it on. Cool. Graham crackers on top, too, please. What's happening? Oh, you touched it. Okay, watch out. You are, but I have to actually hand it to you without hurting you. Sophia's going to roast those marshmallows a little bit on the top of her and Serafina. Did you ever have a roasted marshmallow? Yes. And Jeremiah's going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the fire. That's good, that's How good. How do I turn it off? Just take it away from the marshmallow first. Don't, don't point it at anybody. You're the one that pushed it towards Jeremiah. Oh. 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 Okay. Do you know we have those exact same... Yeah, Jeremiah, just sprinkle a couple graham crackers. Yeah, crunch them up and sprinkle them on top. And then we have a little chocolate syrup that we can do on the top. So a little chocolate syrup. You have your drizzle. I'm still cutting Mickey's out right now. I'm still cutting out Mickey's. These are hard to cut. 
This cutter is not that sharp. This cutter is our ravioli cutter. We made Mickeyolis. So, we have Mickey Mouse raviolis. Would you like that? Yes. They're going to be yummy, right? Yeah. So, if you can do some drizzling of chocolate, let's do a big one. You can dip or drizzle. Let's see if we can do a big one. I'm a dipper. I really need to get more muscles with this job. Holy. Maybe I can get a bigger plate. Yeah, good idea. All right, I got that one done. Whew, that was hot. It's getting hot in here. Don't break off the ear. Nope. Look at that one. How is that better? Yes. That's a good one, right? Mm -hmm. I will. That one might have to go to Heidi. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to eat that though, right? Maybe maybe we can like share it, like break it apart and share You think it. so? We could do that. That's a good idea. The middle seems like it was easier to get to than the other side. The middle has more crispies in there. So, what do you think of your hot chocolate? I like it. Did you ever have something like that before? It's like almost like a s'more hot chocolate, pumpkin spice flavored, which is yummy. All right, we've got our Mickey Krispies. Hold on, Sophia. We have our Mickey pies in the oven. We have our pumpkin spice, and look at that. Wow, you want to show mommy? You show mommy? Whoa. Look at that, mommy. Is she allowed to drink that? Yeah. Okay. Sophia's gonna get us. Actually, you can reach right in the store and get yourself a spoon. Yeah. See the little spoon right there? Yeah, it's better too. There's another one there. Can you put the one with the sparklers on it? There you go. I like that she goes in the draw. I love it. She's not afraid. I love it. I said go in the draw. She's okay. Mm -hmm. So, you wanna try a crispy treat or you wanna wait for a pie? Or you want both? <coughs> Let's do the crispy treat first. How about that? So, Miss Dana has these ones that I did earlier that are cold. You want you like that? Mmm. Mmm. You're going to have to make these with mommy, right? This would be a good snack for school. Like after she's done with her math work, maybe in between reading. Or. That's me. What? That's me. Mm -hmm. Every time mm -hmm. I got a problem, I like, would eat. <laughs> Sophia, why don't you go pass these out? Let everybody have one of those. Well, it's time to BYON, guys. We have our own napkins. We hope you brought yours. Are the pies coming out anytime soon? Thank you. Yeah. Don't touch that. We're going to make Mickey treats. Tell them, Serafina, don't touch. <laughs> uh, she can't. She's got her mouth full. That's yummy. Yeah. We're going to cut some more so you can have more, okay? Who's going to Who's going to eat the big one? Heidi doesn't want it. Yeah. No, Heidi. No, I think Serafina can have it if Heidi doesn't want it. Right? As long as Mommy says it's okay. Chocolate. That's okay. You want to chew that? Yes, mine. Do I have chocolate on my face yet? No chocolate mustache? This is a delicious pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Try yours and see if you like it. Mmm. Yummy. I'm going to check the pies. You guys enjoy your little snack, all right? I'll be right back. I'm going, like, right behind you. I'm not going anywhere. Just go right behind you. So, Dia, why don't you talk to Sarah a little bit about soccer? Uh, or school? Um, how about you, Homer? Who's your favorite Mickey Mouse person? Uh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, okay. You went with the classic. Mickey Mouse? He's your favorite? Who else do you like out of the Disney characters? Do you like Daisy and Donald's and yes. Goofy, Pluto? Yes. How about, what's his name? Chip and Dale. Who's the bad guy? Pete. Pete, is that the bad guy? Yeah. Pete, he's the bad guy. Do you like him? Clarabelle. I like Clarabelle. Who's Mommy's favorite? I guess Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? Yeah. I like Pooh Bear. But technically the same universe. It is so in the same universe, totally in the same universe. Pooh Bear's classic, right? We're All right. About Mouse cartoon. You think you can make these crispy treats at home by yourself? No. With mommy? Yes. How about you?
How about, um... How about Daddy? Because he is... Daddy? Does Daddy like to make the messy stuff? He can mm -hmm. do that. He yeah. can do that? Yeah. Good cutting. <laughs> yeah. What about Grandpa? Do you think Grandpa would like to make this or no? Yes. It's too messy for him. Yeah. He likes to make it. Yeah. He makes a mess every time he does. Does he really? I like messes too. I think yeah. sometimes they're fun. All right, I'm going to cut more Mickey Krispies out, all right, so you guys can have some more while Jeremiah checks on. Seraphina's pie looks amazing. My pie looks, uh, yours looks awesome. I can't wait for you to see it when it comes out. Jeremiah, make sure it's nice and crispy, honey. Sophia. I'm going to, these are starting to get, like, really super melty. Under here. So we're actually going to put this back in the refrigerator. Thank you. It's just too hot today. Just too humid. We're going to put this back in the refrigerator and let it sit. So you have one over there. You can either take it home or you can eat it. If you want to talk, you can talk about it with mommy. Oh my gosh. So we're going to wait. We're going to just wait a few minutes to see if we can get that pie out so we can show you. What is that? That's like a teeny tiny oh, marshmallow. Oh, a teeny tiny marshmallow. What, did it shrink? Hey, Jeremiah, can you put this away in the fridge for me, please? You're going to need to get the get the uh, tray out. Yeah. This is falling I'm going to share it with my sister when we get home. Oh, that is so sweet. Is your sister waiting for you, you think? Yeah. Is she going to watch and see, and you want to say hi to her? She couldn't come because she has a feet. Aw, you want to say hi to your sister? Then look up at the camera and say hi to your sister. Hi. What's her name? Hi, Stella. Stella? Yeah. That is so cute. Come over here. Hi Stella, we miss you today. Is she not feeling good? Yeah. Aw. You think she's going to sleep it all off? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, next time you come on the show, what should we make? Spaghetti meatballs. Spaghetti meatballs. Alright, so guys, you heard it. We're going to make spaghetti meatballs next time. Jeremiah, look, how are we on time here? How are we on time right now? Because we have pie in the oven. We're going to go because we're not going to make you guys wait the entire time just to see the pie. We will snap a few pictures and show you because I think the time is up. Did you have a good time, Serafina? Thank you for coming today to help us. You're welcome. And thank you, Sophia, as usual, for helping. Jeremiah, thank you for all of your help. Thank you, Christina, for bringing her down to us. Thank you, Heidi, for the cookie cutter. Woo, woo. Shout out to Heidi. We'll have to give this back, though, don't we? Bummer. I couldn't find mine for the life of me today. Thank you to Gluten Free Grandma for cleaning up. Thank you guys for tuning in today and watching. And we hope you guys enjoyed the show today. We're going to bring Serafina back another time to make meatballs. And we want you guys to come, taste, and see how good it is to be gluten free. Ciao, everybody. You got a drink? Your hot chocolate? I'm going to have a sip of mine now. Aprons by REM Designs. Wardrobe by Off the Racks. Hair by Satinique. Makeup by Artistry. Thank you to our pantry partners and fridge friends. Follow us on live stream, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube at ABC Gluten Free. ABC Gluten Free is a production of American Bods.